Welcome back, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing? How you doing? Welcome back, welcome back. How are you today? Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Good evening. Hello, yes, good evening. How are you? Bye, good evening. Good evening, good evening. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Are you ready for your class? Yes, I'm ready. Yes, of course. Excellent, excellent. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, get started. Okay, so in the previous class, what do you remember from the previous class? What do you remember from the previous class? What can you tell me? The continue past tense. Oh, the continue of the past tense. Very good. Can you give me an example? Can you give me an example? For example, uh, I used to smoke, but now I go jogging, for example. I used to smoke, but now I go jogging. What's another example? I used to play soccer, but now... I used to play soccer. But now I don't have time. But now I don't have time. Excellent. Excellent. Another example? I used to... to... to do... Exercise. Ah, okay. I used to exercise. Huh? Huh? Good, good. I used to exercise, but now I have to work. Okay. Good, good. And I used to drink beer, but now I wine. save my money. I drink wine. <laughs> <laughs> could be, could be. <laughs> Yeah, could be. Could be, could be a little bit of wine on Friday with some ice. Yeah. Sounds delicious. Sounds delicious. On parties. Yeah, yeah. With friends. Yeah, of course. Okay. Another example. Somebody else. I usual to be a singer, but I broke my leg. Ah, very good. I used to be a, a, singer. S singer. a singer, but I broke my leg. Good, good. All right, what's another one? I used to drink coffee but now I drink tea another example maybe I never used to like tattoo but, but now I am addicted <laughs> <laughs> did you say tattoos 
Tattoos. Yeah. Okay. I use to no. not. I, I never I never use tattoo. I never uh, used to like tattoo. I never used to like tattoo. Like tattoos. But, but now, now I'm addicted. Ugh. I'm loving. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Excellent, excellent. Another example. Another example? I, I used to be a uh, home woman. Mm -hmm. And I like to, to I, I forget. My okay. I used to sleep a lot, but now I sleep for hours. I used to sleep a lot, but now I only sleep for for hours. Okay. Okay. All right, guys, let's go ahead and uh, we're going to stop right here. I know that everybody wants to participate. Um, I would like for us to take a look at the next activity that's going to be coming from the platform, which is coming from section number 111, knowledge check 111. Can I have one volunteer, one volunteer, please read the first example for me. Where read, did you grow the, up? Uh-huh, read the question. Where did Jerry grow up? Correct, what is your answer? She grew up on, in Brighton, England. Excellent. She grew up in Brighton, England. She grows up is incorrect because it's third person singular. She grew up in Brighton. England and she grow up in Brighton, England. What is correct? A, B, or C? C. A, B, or C? What is the correct answer? C. C. Simple pass. All right. Another participant, number two. Jerry is the second. Jerry used to college stamp. All right. Did Jerry have a hobby? Have a hobby. Did uh, Jerry, Jerry used to paint. have a hobby? The first. All right. First. The Jerry but, used to paint and she first, still paints today. But the okay. first is in past. Correct. Correct. So the first one is the simple past, okay. simple present, the present, and third person singular. What is the it's correct the answer? The second. Jerry used the college stamp. No, mm, the first well, one. The, remember that Jerry the used question, me is the first one. 
Uh -huh. The question because is in simple past. In the past. This. It's talking about the past. It's talking the about the past. So the answer is... Jerry, Jerry, Jerry used, used to pencil. Pencil. Jerry, Jerry used, used to. to. That's right. So we're going to click on the first one. Jerry used to paint and Good evening. she still paints today. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, number three. Choose the correct. I used the best. to. <clears throat> the best person first. I used to Go play ahead. baseball and football when I was a kid. Okay. So the question is, what okay. games did you used to play when you were a kid? A. I used to played simple past basketball and football when I was a kid. I used to play basketball and football when I was a kid. I used to play basketball and football when I was a kid. Which one is correct? A. B, B, B or C? B. B. Letter B. Letter B. I used to play because we have used to in the simple past and we have play in the simple present. That is correct. So this is the answer. B. I used to play basketball and football when I was a kid. Dennis says, A, good job, Dennis. All right, number four, choose the best response to this question. What did you used to collect when you were a kid? What did you used to collect when you were a kid? What is your answer? I the used to. The first. The first. I used I to used collect to comic, comic books, books when I was a kid. When I was a kid. I used to collect comic books when I was a kid. Or letter C, I used to collect it comic books when I was a kid. So we got three options. A, B, or C. What is your answer? A. A. I used to, B. in the past, collect in the simple present. So the correct answer is number A. Letter A. Good job. All right. And we have our friend over here, Eileen, says letter A. Thank you, Eileen. Any questions at this moment? All right. Let's look at the last one, number five. My last job was easy and relaxing. I mm, work from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday and had weekends off. So we have A... Used to. Used to. The letter A. B. Used to. And C. Was used to. What is your answer? Letter A. Letter A. And then we have over here, Eileen says letter A. Okay, so everybody says letter A. Let's check. That is correct. 
Good job, guys. Any questions at this moment? Questions at this moment? It's clear. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at the following one, which is section 1.12, lesson objectives. Build English conversational skills with the phrase used to, which yes. you can use to describe your childhood or past. By the end of this class, you will be able to form questions, statements, negative and short answers with used to. Learn English phrases like, what sports did you used to play when you were a kid? Did you used to collect things when you were a child? And what did you used to do for fun? when you were a kid. So the topic is when you were a child. Let's listen to the video, please. We'll practice making yes everybody and no here? questions and WH questions. Can For example, hear? you'll be able to make. Yes. Okay. Everybody can hear? Those yeah. so is good. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to make questions using used to. We'll practice making yes and no questions and WH questions. For example, you'll be able to make questions such as, what sports did you use to play when you were a child? Did you use to collect anything when you were a child? What kind of things did you used to do for fun when you were a kid? As I mentioned previously, what we're going to do in this class is we're going to learn how to form questions using used to. And what we're going to do is we're going to focus on creating yes and no questions as the one that I'm circling there. Did you use to collect things? That's a yes and no question. And then the way to answer that, yes, I used to collect comic books or no, I didn't use to collect anything. And also we're going to learn how to create those WH questions with used to. Let me start by presenting the structure. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to make sense of the two questions that are here. As you can see, the first question is a yes or no question. And the second question, what sports did you use to play? That's an information question. That means that we have a WH word. So let's try to make sense of the first one first. Um, the um, yes or no questions don't have a WH word and therefore start with did. So did you use to, and it follows the verb in the present, collect things. Did is the auxiliary that we're going to use, and then that follows the subject. In this case, it happens to be you. That is going to follow used to. If you notice, used to is not in the past. It's in the present. And then it's going to follow the verb in, in its present tense. And then finally, we'll have some sort of complement. And how do we answer this type of questions? Well, we can either have a positive response such as, yes, I used to collect comic books. Or no, I didn't use to collect anything, but now I collect art. So let me try to give a couple of more examples. And we're going to continue to use that same structure. Um, we want to focus on doing yes and no questions at this moment. So let me ask you the following question. Did you used to listen to rock music? Okay. Did you, I'm going to say, did you play sports? in high school. There we go. Now let me talk about creating WH questions. As you can see, that's the one at the bottom. Um, I mentioned that WH questions, we use this kind of questions to ask for information. 
and we'll borrow the example, we'll borrow that question that you see there. What sport did you use to play? So let me go ahead and write that down. What um, sports did you use to play? Sometimes we're going to have a compliment, sometimes we're not. In this case, we don't have a compliment. But uh, what sports, that's the WH word, that follows auxiliary did. And then after that, we're going to have a subject. After that, we're going to have used to. Notice that used to is in the present. And that follows the verb in its present form. Then sometimes you're going to have a compliment. Sometimes you're not. So let me write a couple of more questions here so that you can get the hang of it. What uh, video games did you use to play? when you wear a kit. Okay, that'll be another one. So what video games, that will be my WH word, it follows the auxiliary did, subject is you, used to, and the verb in its present form, and then whatever complement. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to practice making questions. You're going to make yes or no questions and also WH questions. Okay, so who can tell me what is the difference between a yes, no question and a WH question? What is the difference? <laughs> Dennis? Maria? Uh, we use this. That is correct. That is the condition. The condition. That's right. Um, for example, who can give me an example of a yes, no question? Yes, no question. For example, comiste pupusas anoche? Did you eat pupusas last night? Yes, I did. Or no, I didn't. Or you can say, for example, what did you eat? Last night. ¿Qué cenaste esa noche? Or, for example, did you watch a movie last night? ¿Viste una película anoche? Or you can say, what did you do last night? ¿Qué hiciste esa noche? Or, for example, you can say, did you you drink coffee this morning? Tomaste café esta mañana? Or what did you drink this morning? ¿Qué tomaste esta mañana? All right, so for this activity, what we're going to do, uh, let me go ahead and close this. Uh, we're going to be looking at Yes, right. what I'm going to do at this time. So over here, what you're going to do is correct, identify the correct question. You're going to identify the correct question. Uh, Cindy dice, yes, no questions is for short answers. And WH questions, you can give more information and details. That is correct, Cindy. Good job. All right. We're going to practice in pairs. Uh, everybody is going to share your screen. I'm going to activate so that you guys can share the screen. Ready? Let's go.
Okay, uh, Dennis, Cindy, and Catherine, you can work uh, together. Hello, Dennis. All right. Yes. Okay, yes. Uh, I can show my screen. N number one. You can see. Hi. Uh, hi. Um, number one. Is did you use to worry about money when when you were I think when you were younger. younger? I think younger. that is the, the first. Okay, and um, number one, yes, yeah, okay, yes. Number two, did you use the to... uh -huh. <sighs> You used to follow them. You used to follow. I think that it's the first. What okay. do you think? What do yes. you think? Mm, that's correct. Okay. There, choose the best quantity of my I used to girl. I to be to girl how I look. What do you use to do? Y la número uno era la número la la, la The número first. dos, ¿verdad? No la dos. Ah. The yes, correct the, is uh -huh. did you use to worry yes. about money when you were uh -huh. younger? Yes, yes. I think mm -hmm. that is the the second. Choose the first place. I used to care a lot about my friend. Now I need to be... What do you use to care about when you were younger? I think that it's the first. Yes. Okay. And the four, what kind of video games do you use to play? I think that is the first. Two. Two. Okay. Did you use it to play when you were in it? Did you Did you use okay. <laughs> ah, it's correct. Okay. <laughs> sí, yeah. Everything is correct. We finish. La pronunciamos. Yes. Okay. Yes. The number one. Uh, did you used to worry about money when you were younger? Did you used to worry about money when you were younger? Yes. It's a correct. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's correct. Number, number two. Did you used to follow politics five years ago? Correct. <laughs> Number three. Number three. Number one. Hmm? Sorry. No. Hello. What did you used to care about when you were younger? Uh -huh. con esta. Yes. What did you used to care about when you were younger? Number four. Do you used to play when you were a teenager? Yes. Okay. Everything's correct. I Tell think that we can go out the, about the room. Ya salió el, la, a mí no me salió. Ya le salió a usted. Sí. No, no me salió. Me voy a esperar que me saque. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.
estas letras con lápiz para que ellos puedan escribir y como lo tengo todo esto. Esto me está la tarea. Ya no regresamos a la clase, ¿verdad? Y, sí, ya, ya no nos puso el enlace, ¿verdad? De, para regresar. Le escribimos al chat. Um, pues esperamos, pues, esperamos, ¿verdad? Sí, él tendría que, que mandar, pero... All right, all right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, welcome back. Let me have one volunteer. One volunteer. Give me the answer for number one, please. Rebecca. Okay. Number one, which is correct. Do you, do you used to worry about money when you were younger? Very good. Did you used to worry about money when you were younger? Thank you. Number two. Number two. Which is correct? The correct answer is did you used to follow politics five years ago? Very good. Did you used to follow politics five years ago? Did you used to follow politics five years ago? The number three. My coach. Yes. Uh, little A. What did you uh, used to care about when you were younger? Good. All right, number four. Did you used to play when you were a teen, teenager? Teenager. Did teenager. you used to play when you were a teenager? La dos, uh, era la dos teacher. La dos teacher. Uh, no, yes. Did you used to play when you were a teenager? Good, good. Okay, guys, uh, we're going to take a little break right here. We got to take the attendance right now. Give me just a second. Uh, if you see that your partner is connected and did not raise their hand, please let me know, okay? Yeah, this is eight to nine. Okay, Andrea. Present. Thank you, Andrea. Andrea is present. Today's the 27th, it's present, okay. Andrea Esmeralda. Here, teacher. Thank you. Angel. 
Angel. Here, here, teacher. Excellent. Byron. Giovanni. Present, teacher. Very good. Dennis. Dennis. Present. Excellent. Hailing. Present. Thank you, Hailing. Catherine. Catherine. Present. Thank you. Kenya. Roxana. Present teacher. Excellent. Kenya Yamilet. Present. Good. Luis. Present teacher. Good job, Luis. Maria. I'm here. Very good, Maria. Martin. I'm here. Good job, Martin. Moises. Moises Giovanni. Absent. Nayeli. Present. Thank you. Nuria. Nuria. Sarai. Present. Good job. <laughs> Rebecca Abigail. Present teacher. Excellent. Cindy. Here. Fantastic. All right. All right. Good job. Any questions at this moment, guys, in regards to using this context? Any questions at this moment in regards to using this structure? Okay, let's move forward. And we're going to be looking at the next section. For the next section is 2.0, too much, too many, less, fewer, enough. We're going to look at the countable and non-countable nouns. Listen, please. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to describe problems Can everybody in hear? the city. You'll do Can this everybody by hear? using count and non-count. Can everybody yes. hear? Let me give you a quick okay. example. Yes, yes, There's too much traffic in my city because there are too many cars. You'll also listen to an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. First of all, nouns. What are nouns? Well, nouns are people, places, or things. Pretty much everything that you see around you is considered a noun. And what do we mean by count nouns? Well, count nouns are simply all of those things, people, places, or things that you can easily count. So, for example, when we think about cars, subway lanes, buses, those are nouns that you can easily count. Let me give you an example of other nouns that we can easily count. So for example, we can count things like a pen, a computer, a bottle, a spoon, a desk, a cup, a television, a chair, shoe, a finger, flower, camera, stick, balloon, book, table, etc. Another thing that I would like to mention about count nouns is that we can easily change these count nouns into plurals by simply adding an S. Now let me point out what non-count nouns are. And just like I mentioned previously, count nouns are all of those things that you can count. People, places, or things that are easy to count, such as cars, subway lanes, or buses, like we see on the example. Now, with non-count nouns, what that means is that we're going to look at nouns that are difficult to count. So, for example, in our chart, we see things like traffic, things like pollution, public transportation, parking, those are a little bit difficult to count. So let me give you more examples of some of the things that cannot be counted quite easily and therefore we consider this non-count nouns. So if we think about things like water, wood, ice, air, oxygen, English, Spanish, these are subjects, traffic, furniture, milk, wine, sugar, rice, meat, flour, things like sports, soccer. All of these things are non-countable. 
they cannot be counted easily. Another thing that's important to mention about non-count nouns is that we don't add an S in order to ch change them to plural. They, they do not have a plural form. Next, what I would like to do is I would like to play an audio program for you so that you can listen to the perspective of some people about their city. And remember that the goal of this class is to learn how to express problems that exist within a city. For example, there's too much traffic in my city because there are too many cars. And we want to use count nouns and non-count nouns to express uh, those ideas. So we're going to listen to that and I will have you answer a couple of questions about that. The buses are old and slow and they cause too much pollution. In cities with less pollution, people are healthier. There are too many cars. All the cars, taxis, and buses are a danger to bicyclists. There is too much traffic. There should be fewer cars, but I think that the biggest problem is parking. There just isn't enough parking. The last thing that I would like for you to do now is to answer some questions about your city. And what I would like for you to do is to tell me whether there is a lot of traffic in your city. So I'm going to ask the question, is there a lot of traffic in your city? Are there many buses in your city? Are there enough police officers in your city? Is there too much pollution in your city? And as you're answering these questions that I just posted, I want you to identify the nouns that I'm using. So tell me whether the nouns that I'm using, whether they're count or non-count. So for example, traffic is the first one. Is that count or non-count? Um, police officers, is that count or not count? Um, buses, is that count or not count? And pollution, is that count or not count? Okay, guys. Now, for this activity, city. what for we're example, going to do there's too much is traffic we are in going to ask each other questions. Too many for example, I'm going to start. Um, if I say to you, for example, Martin, is there a school near your house? Repeat, please, teacher. Uh, yes. Is there a school near your house? Hay una escuela cerca de su casa? Mm, yes, there are uh, two schools near, near my house. Okay, very good. So, what is the noun in this question? What is the noun? School. 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 Is school countable or non-countable? Countable. Countable. Very good. Very good. So, you're going to ask your classmates about things in the neighborhood and you're going to identify if they are countable or uncountable. You will have three minutes, three minutes. Ask your partner questions about things in your neighborhood and identify if it is countable or non-countable. Hello again. Hi. Hi. One question for you. <laughs> Is there a mall near your house? Is there a? Mall. What is a mall? Ah, Plaza. it's a mall. Oh. Uh, Plaza. Mm -hmm. No, there aren't. Okay, now it's your turn. Uh, do you have some fruit in your refrigerator? 
No sé cómo se pronuncia. Refrigerator. 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 Uh -huh. uh, no, I don't have any. <laughs> Fruit. Okay, the next. E -R no, is there a pool near your neighborhood? Mm, no, maybe because I live in near to the beach, but here in in my in my city there aren't. Ah, okay, okay. Maybe I I will visit you because you are near of the sea. <laughs> <laughs> Now it's your turn. It's my turn or Nayeli? Or ah, Nayeli, right. Yes. Well. well, and there are uh, kids in your neighborhood? Mm, for example, in my neighborhood, Yes, there are a lot of kids. What about you, Kenya? Oh, me too. There are a lot of. Okay, another one. Mm. Mm, it's, um, well, there are uh, some teenagers or younger in your neighborhoods? Mm, yes. There are a lot of teenagers. Mm, maybe in my case, there are, can I say some? Mm, because maybe. Because is for not countable, right? Eh, son de hijo. No, no, de, de, de algo, de son. O sea, son. Ajá. Mm, maybe, oh. maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, I, are there a lot of uh, bus stations in your neighborhood? In my name, uh, what? Uh, in my case, there are in a uh, bus stations. In my ah, case, bus. there mm -hmm. are bus stations, but not a lot of some. Yes. Mm, okay. In my case, just one. <laughs> <laughs> Another question? Hmm. Ah, another. Is there traffic in your neighborhood? In my case, De... Ay, no sé cómo decir, no hay tráfico. Isn't traffic. Pero creo que no es isn't porque el traffic es plural. O no sé por qué, pero usan como el aren, como en plural, algo así. No sé, uh -huh. there aren't traffic. There aren't, ajá, creo que sí, there aren't traffic. Ah, okay. Okay. What about you, Nayeli? Uh, in my my case, uh, the same. There are in traffic. Okay. In my case, 
near to my neighborhood is the uh, Chorros, <laughs> Chorros <Yeah>. Highway. <laughs> so there are a lot of traffic. Yes, a lot of traffic. Yes, maybe three hours to arrive to San Salvador. <laughs> Another? Mm, do you have any pet? Yes, I have one. My cat. His name is Bigotes. <laughs> And you? No, I haven't. Mm. Do you like pets? No. Mm, yes, some dog, but cat, not. No much. No, <laughs> no much. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What about you, Mayeli? I have two pets. Uh, a dog and a cat. The name of the dog is Hachi, and the name of the cat is Ruby. <laughs> Come on. Are you finished? Yes. You... Okay. Yes, of course. All right, we're going to change partners we're going to change partners okay give me just a moment we are waiting for the uh, other classmates to come in just one second please We're waiting for more people. Kenya Roxana. We are waiting for Kenya Roxana. One moment. We got Kenya Yamilet. Kenya Roxana. There you are. Hi, Kenya Roxana. Welcome. All right. We're going to change partners. Recreate. Ready? Let's go. Different people. Repeat the activity. Hello. So we can give examples about count and not count if you want, or we can ask about whatever. You start. Okay. How many <laughs> tables do you have at home? In my home, there are one table. Okay, that means that it's a count noun, right? Yes. Okay. So you can ask me. Mm. Are there chores in your neighborhood? Yes, of course. We have around five shirts here. <laughs> there are a lot of them. Yes. In my case, there are on there there is mm -hmm. only one. Only one. It's about Catholic. Yes. 
Uh, and you are Catholic? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, here in my town, we have around five, like Catholic, Lutheran, <laughs> Evangelic, <laughs> Testigos de Jehová. <laughs> no sé, <laughs> tanta. <laughs> Okay, and if you want, we can say it's uh, count things and not count things in order to not be so boring. Like, for example, one count things, it can be a backpack. Hello. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I don't understand very well, but you you need that we say countable nouns and not countable or or what? Yes, like that. Uh, only say what is a noun countable and not countable. If you can, or we can carry off asking questions. So, are there um, how much stores are in your town? Hey, Luis, can you give me an example, please? Hi, uh, countables or no countable? Uh, countables, please. Countable, uh, pants, rice, days, animals, people, tables, cars, windows, house, uh, etc. Okay, what about uncountables? Bite on uncountables. Quarrels, uh, rice, um, bean, all, uh, all, uh, bread. Uh, I don't know. Okay, okay, good, good. Uh, let me have uh, um, Maria, countables. Yeah. Count for yes. Um, houses. Mm -hmm. uh, cities. Okay. Um, from, um cell phones. Mm -hmm. um, buses. Buses. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and uh, stop right here. Please continue working on the platform, and we will see you tomorrow. Good night, guys. Bye-bye. Okay. Okay. Good night, bye. Good night, everybody. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Bye.